Okay, so this is this is um, this tutorial is showing you how to create an FTP account for your website, and also how to connect to that FTP account um, via an FTP client such as FileZilla or Smart FTP. Um, yeah, so the first thing <coughs> the first thing you want to do is log into your cPanel and scroll down to where it says Files FTP Accounts. And I don't know if you've watched my other tutorials on creating an email account and creating a, a database in cPanel, but it's pretty much the same thing. Um, it's pretty easy to create. You just want to... Uh, this website I'm using is actually um, one of my websites, cheatplrarticles.net. Um, so the FTP account is going to be, let's just say, test FTP at cheatplrarticles.net. And create a password <coughs> um, I don't know, let's just do one two one two one two um, and here this is very important this is the directory where you're in on your website that your FTP account is going to link to um, by default it gives you it makes a new directory that's named after your username so this is test FTP but there's nothing in that directory so we don't we want to get rid of that we want to connect to the root of the site so just erase that delete that and just leave public html and that will go to the root public html always goes to the root of your site so it's the very very top of your site um, the quota you can set a quota we'll leave it at unlimited and create ftp account so now we've added an ftp account to the site um, and this this gives us the information we need to connect to it through a through an FTP software client. Um, and let's do that now. Uh, the the client that I recommend that you use is FileZilla. Uh, you can download it. Let's go FileZilla. <clears throat> All right. And it's free. FileZilla is free. Uh, there's other ones, Smart FTP. There's a few of them, but this is the one I recommend that I like the best. So just download it. Uh, I already have it on my computer, so I'm not going to download it. Um, but you just download and install it like any other software. I'm, I'm sure you know how to do that. Um, so after you download it, run it. You just fit this in here. And this is what it looks like. This is what FileZilla looks like. Um, all FTP clients look similar. So let's go and let's take this info. Whoop, where is it? This info that we got from from cPanel. Uh, FTP username is going to be testftp at cheatplrarticles.net. So let's copy that. That's the FTP username. So now go to FileZilla and put that in the username. The host is going is always going to be it's the same as the website. So the host is this cheatplrarticles.net. So I'll just take that part, paste it in the host. The password right here one two one two one two. And the port you can leave that blank. But uh, just so you know, um, port 21 is always used for FTP. Uh, 22, I think, is is secure FTP. But we can just leave this blank. Uh, just click Quick Connect. I'll do a bunch of crap up here. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, and there we go. We're connected just move this down so you can see uh, and this is these are all the files on our on our web host <coughs> on this particular website and this is how this is how you connect to your website these are all the files um, this is a Joomla site so it has all the Joomla directories uh, you know the images directories <coughs> where all your most of your images on the site are stored um, you know, and that's how you how you add stuff to your site. Um, 
just in case you were wondering. That's how you connect to FTP. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email support at Tech Guy Web Solutions. Uh, and that's it. That's how you do create an FTP account.